Facebook, YouTube. How y'all doing? It is Friday, so we can all breathe that collective sigh of relief that Friday always brings. I put out my last video, and I gotta tell you, it was good to get in front of the camera again. And uh, I was fortunate enough to have a, a viewer write me and make a request which by the way thank you so much I appreciate you watching my stuff uh, she made a request that I do a video regarding the Paula Dean situation actually I've been thinking about that for quite some time well since since it first happened anyway I should say and uh, really the first thing that strikes my mind when I think of the Paula Dean situation is that uh, it not only adds fuel to the fire that uh, there is still a great load of racism in America, which that was known to begin with, but oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. There's also a lot of uh, hostility over past racism. Because Paula Dean said that she used a racial slur what, 20 years ago? 20 damn years ago! And the politically correct bandwagon is apparently all up in arms about it. Let's see, Sears dropped her, Walmart dropped her, the Food Network dropped her. All of the people that was involved with Paula Dean are jumping off the ship. Which makes no sense to me because Paula Dean, like myself, is Southern and you're in the, you're in the South, especially well, I grew, I grew up in the 80s. I was born in 1970. At that particular time in, in the South, racial slurs, commonplace. Very commonplace. And it wasn't just toward, just wasn't racial slurs directed toward the blacks. Blacks, whites, Hispanic, Polish, whatever, whatever the case may be. There was comments directed toward that particular group of individuals. And uh, and because she admitted, she admitted that she used a racial slur. People are now saying to hell with you, we're going to take away your empire, we're going to jump off the ship. That just tells me right there that America is scared to death of political correctness. You can't say this. You can't say that. Well, why do you think I have this channel? I say what the hell I want to say. The hell with everybody else. Also, it brings to light, uh, if you look up the new Black Panther Party, you'll see some uh, fella, he's the leader of the Black Party, uh, Black Party movement. He's on a microphone in a town square, hollering to everybody. I hate a damn cracker. I hate a cracker. For us to get equality, you're going to have to kill some crackers. You're going to have to kill some cracker babies. Nothing happened to him. The Department of Justice did, didn't investigate him. He wasn't arrested. He wasn't silenced. Because that's his right. He can say that. Where was Paula Dean's right for her freedom of speech? I think is a damn shame in this world that she's having to lose everything she's fought so hard for because some people are just so damn thin skinned they won't get off their damn moral high horse kiss my ass you you damn hypocrite sons of bitches these people that won't get off their damn high horse that think that she's such a terrible person because she used the n-word 20 years ago. I tell you, it is a sad, sad state in America. People get this tore up over one little word. And one thing I don't understand is blacks refer to themselves as that end comment to begin with. But they get upset when, when somebody from another race calls them that. People, it makes no sense. Racism it, as an entirety is stupid, it shows complete and total ignorance, lack of education for 
anybody to be looked down or looked down for because of religious orientation, sexual choice, uh, color of their skin. That is just stupid. And people, I, I just hope it gets better, but I don't think it will. And I hope Paula Dean, I hope she can recover from this and get back, get her empire back. Uh, she was, she's a hell of a cook. I enjoyed watching her make that food. And, uh, whew. well, people, I guess that's what I got this Friday afternoon on my way to get my boy. So, y'all have a good weekend. Drink water. It is warm out there. Drink water. Stay hydrated. I'm pulling to the Conoco here and get some gas. Because the old, the old war machine is just above empty. And she takes gas, let me tell you. Uh, so, like I said, people, I always I say it as a as a way to end my videos, but in my heart of hearts, I mean it. Cl keep your weapons clean. Hold your guns tighter. Hold your, hold your loved ones closer. And just be good to one another. We will get through this. We will take our country back. So, let me get through here if I can hit. Alright guys, like I said before, that's all I got. Until next time, have a good weekend. God bless you, and God bless America. Let me turn this thing off.